All right, this video is gonna go over structures of the skull. The first thing that I would recommend that you do is you learn the definitions. The foramen always means a hole in bone. This represents a fissure, which is a slit in bone. You can see where I'm putting my pointer. When you turn it over to the side, anything that comes to a point is called a process. When you look at the mandible, the back of the mandible, it's rounded, that's called a condyle. A tunnel in the bone is called a meatus. And then you also have an indention in bone. Right here is an indentation. If you roll it like this and it's an indentation, that's a fossa. And then a rounded process that's only found on the skull, this is called a protuberance. And then you also have sutures, which are immovable joints. So here's your sutures. Now we're gonna have four sutures of the skull. The first suture is the coronal suture. Coronal means in front of or anterior to, and you can also remember this by wearing a crown on your head. The sagittal suture divides the parietal bones. The squamous suture divides the parietal bone from the temporal bone. It's this line here. And then you have another suture, which is like the Greek alphabet letter lambda, which is an L shape. And this is called the lambdoid suture. Okay, holes on the skull. When you go above the eye, the eye is called the orbital. Above is supra, so this is the supraorbital foramen, it's the hole. If you go below the eye, it's the infraorbital foramen. On the mandible, your chin is called the mentum, or mental, so this is the mental foramen, it's the hole. Going back to the skull, when you go to the fissures, there are two fissures on the eye. So your superior orbital fissure is the slit that is on the top. The inferior orbital fissure is on the bottom. Other structures of the skull, the structure on the frontal bone in between the eyes is called the glabella. Here, because your ethmoid makes up the medial surface of the eye, this is uh, called the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. And then when you turn it on the side, since this is the zygomatic bone, this is the zygomatic arch, then you have your external acoustic meatus, the tunnel that allows you to hear. You have two processes here. This is called the styloid process, which looks like a stylus, and then your mastoid process. When you turn it around to the back, you have your external occipital protuberance. When you turn it underneath, you can see all the same structures that you saw, the mastoid, the styloid. This is the foramen magnum. The rounded structure on either side is called the occipital condyles. Then you have your mandibular fossa. And then when you look at the maxilla, this is called the intermaxillary suture. This is called the incisive foramen because it's a hole. And then a couple of structures on the mandible, the coronoid fossa, no, not fossa, coronoid process, the mandibular condyle, this is the ramus of the mandible because it branches in two, the body, and on the inside of the mandible you can see a hole and that's called the mandibular foramen.